If you're looking to liquid cool a new Intel build, you certainly have options these days. You can of course choose your own board and a compatible water block. But many companies make boards with the block included these days. Recently, we looked at the MSI 690 Carbon EKX and the Asus 690 Extreme Glacial. These boards include a custom-made water block that cools the CPU and VRM, and more in the case of the Glacial. The MSI Carbon EKX is the least expensive of these boards, a mid-range offering at just over $600, while the Asus 690 Glacial is more of a flagship or Halo-type product, priced at just under $2,000. As Rock's option in this niche, the water-cooled 690 Aqua sits between those two alternatives, with a current price of $1,149.99 at Newegg. It offers users plenty of connectivity, including a Thunderbolt 4 Type-C port, 10GB EM Wi-Fi 6E, 3M, 2 sockets, and robust power delivery just like the others. Let's see what sets these cool operators apart. Design Looking at the board for the first time, we're presented with a jet black 12-layer PCB, sporting heat sinks and shrouds that cover most of the surface. Finished in a combination of brushed, chrome, and matte parts, the silver heatsinks present a stark contrast to the motherboard and give it a unique, high-end appearance. The block has a partially transparent plexi top that shows the channels where the water flows. All slots, including the PCIe and DRAM slots, use reinforcement to protect against shearing and EMI. As far as RGB and other accoutrements, the Aqua is low-key compared to the other boards it competes with two RGB lighting zones. The first is located above the I.O. area in a simple frosted line, while the second area is above the chipset, laying up the Aqua branding from below. The Aqua has a nifty OLED screen just above the top PCIe slot that displays the status of the motherboard. You can configure what the screen displays through the BIOS. Starting at the top of the board on the left, we look at the matte finish route that covers the top of the I.O. area. We see the 690 branding and a frosted RGB strip to bring some color to the two-tone board. Just above that are two 8-pin EPS connectors to send power to the CPU. The block comes pre-installed with all of the thermal pads already in place. You just have to remove the block with a few screws, install the processor in thermal paste, then off you go to water cool goodness. I like the look here, as it uses different finishes and, unlike the Glacial and Aorus Extreme where RGB lighting illuminates the block, the Aqua does not so it's a lot more subdued compared to the others. To the right of the socket, we run into four reinforced RAM slots that lock the memory sticks in place on both sides. With four slots, the Aqua supports up to 128 GB of DDR5, with speeds listed to DDR5 6400 plus. Ah. We didn't have any issues with either of our kits. It was a set XMP and Go experience. Your mileage may vary depending on the processor and memory kit you have on hand. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Keep watching and stay with us subscribing to this channel. Have a great day.